Hello, thank you for stopping by. Um, just a short video. Um, oh shoot, I had it all in my head. But um, this, I believe this Saturday, there's a leprechaun run. I want a, a St. Patrick's Day run. I'm unsure on what we're doing, but there is the 5K, 10K, I believe a 15K, but um, if there is a half marathon, I do want to do that. Um, it's been raining here, but um, just got done with the run. Um, I don't know if I should rest because uh, I feel like if I rest, I might get lazy. But I've been um, running every day and walking, uh, walking early in the morning then in the evening doing my runs. But um, I noticed that at a certain point, my calves and my legs get really tight. I've been drinking water. Like I said, I just got done with the run and um, it's all sweaty. And But um, looking forward to Saturday. I know... Uh, I, I, I don't want to say it's motivation, but uh, it is good to run with other people. And I know that when um, Chelsea runs, she likes to take her time and enjoy it. Where for me, I like to, um, you know, try to push myself as hard as I can. But if we were going to do the half marathon, I'd probably just um, take my time. Uh, don't want to blow myself out but um also it will probably be really interesting because uh from everything i did read and um reviewed a lot of the runs here are mostly fun runs even though they're like a uh, long distance it's mostly to see their environment and so far you know a lot of the um the grounds and place are decorated for saint patrick's day um from other places like new mexico and washington and california during this time i've never seen it as decorated as it is here uh, which is interesting because um, you know we always seen the decorations at stores and and never really saw it how to say out on people's lawns and windows um, I'll probably take pictures um, when the race happens or if I do go exploring I'll probably do some recording they have roads the roads are all um, four leaf clovers and then there's a four leaf clovers with the rainbow pot of gold uh, leprechauns and stuff like that so that that is really interesting um well more likely where i'm at in missouri st louis missouri um you can walk everywhere there's a lot of places and there's a, a forest park nearby us and that has like a a lot of things um but here uh, to run, I don't know what the elevation is. Let me see. Um, the elevation is 586 feet. Um, way different from where I used to run and train. Um, where I used to run was in Winter Rock. And that elevation was 7,700 feet. So it's a lot different. I felt like I ran easier in higher elevation and lower elevation i feel like i have a harder i don't know if that's something i'll probably look into that later but um i don't like look it up online um i've i try to change my diet but it's really hard to uh find a source i feel like um when you try to look up on youtube and find out you know things um that will help you uh a lot of people are different so you have um, people that say oh you know eat this kind of food uh, can you know continue eating but run harder burn a lot of calories if you do or if you are doing long distance training you want to um, uh, eat a lot more food there was one video of some guy he ate a whole bunch of donuts and Oreos and he drank two liters of coke and for me I feel like crap after I drink one can of soda which I I, I have I stopped drinking soda I stopped eating chips um, water but I am adding other stuff you know not supposed to just drink water on its own uh, I feel like more it's more of a process to figure out what your body can do and what it needs and stuff like that so that's what I'm I'm, I'm, I'm what I'm up to 
So as far as I know, um, the Leprechaun race or the St. Patrick's Day race, I hope it is a go. But if not, there is another one I want to do is the Kentucky Derby. It's the 150th anniversary for the Kentucky Derby. Derby. And if you don't know anything about that, it's well, the horses that run in the track. Um, a lot of people are interested into that. But the reason why I want to do it is because you actually run on the track where the horses run. And that would be really fun to do. And then um, ship route marathon, planning for the 5K, and then the full marathon. So not the half marathon. Last year I did the half marathon. Try to do the full marathon now. And after that, uh, between that, I know there's another race that Chelsea wants to do. Uh, I believe it's like a 55 mile or 30 mile, somewhere around that time. Um, when I get more information, I'll, I'll share that. But um, have a hundred miles September. Still training for that. Still have to get way healthier and figure out what my body needs because there's some parts when I do, like I said, when I run, I'm crampy now. Uh, my hands get all swollen for some reason. I, I don't know if you can see it's all get swollen um and hopefully I have another teammate joining you know I, I um you always find motivation i feel like motivation should come from yourself but uh it's hard to change that where for me i need other people around me to motivate myself and i know some people might be like, oh you know that's showing off but i when you, that's why i like doing group runs or doing these races or runs because you have other people that are pushing themselves and doing it. You know, I, I know I'm not gonna come in first on anything, I, but you know, having that goal of maybe one day, you know, no age is, age shouldn't limit you to anything, especially with sports. There's people that are, like my, my one of my heroes, Kipchege, you know, he's, he's up there and he's breaking, he's fast for his age and, you know, I'm not, I'm never going to get to that two hour mark or close to two hours for a full marathon. But, you know, if he's able to do it, you yeah, I read in the news, some lady, she did like 600 miles in six days. And, you know, that's crazy. I've, you have other people that are breaking records. So, you know, keep, keep on doing it. But uh, like I said, um, might have another person joining our group. Uh, so far as me, Chelsea, my brother, um, Drake's, um, I don't know what Drake's doing. Uh, if Drake, you're watching this, you know, got to find out where you're at. I know you're doing the marathon, ship route marathon, um, but we'd like to have you join us in other races. Uh, Jeffrey might be joining us. Then. That's for the September run in Colorado. I know they have, uh, I know he won't be doing the 100 mile, but, you know, they have the 8 mile uh, on up different races so that'd be fun to have him there but he we did try to he's bribing me which you know if, if it gets me out there and you know have more people you know get out there where he wants me to do a bike race with him you know i i never done an official bike race i've written the um rodent trails but i don't have a bike that is equipped to do that i have um i don't want to say walmart but they will say oh it's a walmart bike it's a really heavy bike but it's all I know. And the thing about biking, especially if it's a mountain bike, road bikes, I've always kept on a high gear. I don't know how to switch between, I know they're like, oh, go low gear. It's high, low gear when you're going up here, high gear when you're going downhill. But uh, something to learn, some, something new would be interesting. You know, like I said, um, this channel's more likely anything that comes to my mind, but I, if there's more races or different things, uh, nothing too crazy because I'm not that level, you know. I'm not at a, a peak level yet, but I'm trying to get there. But um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I'm trying to not just ramble on and about crazy stuff, but this is kind of a vlog, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm um, trying to learn how to edit and get better quality. Um, this thing's all smudged, so I try to clean it. But like I said, um, just got done with my run, so. Um, Feeling kind of, let me see if I can clean it real fast. Um, no, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys uh, all have a good day. Uh, take care. Uh, if you have any recommend recommendations, keep it, put it down below or um, have a communication. I know um, what I do is mostly for, it's, it's all for fun. 
I don't try to make a career out of it. It would be fun to, you know, get paid to do it. But, like, I'm not, I'm not elite status. Um, but, you know, if you do feel generous, there, um, I, I do have a Patreon that's not set up. <laughs> and I do have a GoFundMe uh, cash app. Or not cash app, on Zelle. But it, if, if you do, you know, just um, try to email me. But I'll put the information in the description. But uh, besides that, everybody have a nice and wonderful day. Later.